Despite some of the things we're about to talk about, what an awesome weekend it's been. For K-pop fans, it doesn't matter what group you stand. If you're a fan of K-pop, we all won this weekend. I think that's the way we should look at it, ideally. We were the forefront of everything. By the way, sorry if my voice sounds a little tired in this one. I've obviously been singing and screaming for a few days. Let me know how you guys have been spending your precious time this weekend. I mean, Blackpink came out and killed it at Coachella. They were awesome. They looked awesome. And I cannot believe that they performed that many songs. I hope the girls got to sleep. Then, of course, you had the release of BTS with Boys With Love, which, by the way, check out my explanation for it. And thank you for all the awesome comments and reactions so far. No, I do not work with Big Hit, but thank you, thank you. I got KJC to run, you know? Anyway, BTS broke YouTube records, they took over SNL, and were easily the best part of the show. Like I said, ideally, we should have all been celebrating this weekend, and most of us were. But, I guess it sadly wouldn't be K-pop without a little bit of fan wars going on, huh? I've received so many requests on Twitter to talk about this, so let's recap for those who haven't been in the trenches. Again, BTS broke the 24 hours record on YouTube with 78 million views, beating the record Blackpink just set a week ago with 56. How cool is that? Top 2 are K-pop artists. See, the outrage came when people started noticing that YouTube had deleted views that took it down to 78. So then you had things trending like hashtag YouTube give us our 10 million back, 14 million back, to the point where YouTube actually responded about this. Look, the streaming all day thing is a bit of a dangerous game because you don't really know what goes on behind the scenes of YouTube and their algorithms, validations, things like that. And this has happened before, it happened to Blackpink as well. I'm curious though, has anyone seen this happen to artists that aren't K-pop? I've seen people said no, like Ariana Grande has actually gained views for some reason, but if you guys have actually seen that, let me know. So this then turned into something just nasty. It started with a fan who got confused by a Twitter account that looked like it was YouTube. And this person took that assumption without looking into it for two seconds, came out and said the nastiest things, which sparked others to join in without even checking where this information was coming from. Just believed a few tweets they read. And I also want to say this, this doesn't and shouldn't represent all ARMY, but obviously, Blinks were outraged and demanded an apology from BTS fans, which even started trending worldwide. And for some reason, people decided to fight fire with fire and commented nasty remarks of their own. So what's my take on it? I think it's embarrassing for all K-pop fans. Obviously, it's not all ARMY, and obviously, it's not all Blinks. We should never blanket an entire group of fans. Focus the efforts on those who are actually doing wrong. Seeing these things trend on Twitter is what is kind of sad. What if a non-K-pop fan clicks on that and sees how toxic these fan wars can get? What's the big deal, right? Well, what if somebody in a prominent position sees how petty these fans are? That means we don't get BTS on SNL. We don't get collaborations with other talented artists. We don't get to see K-pop at things like Coachella. And to the people who are saying these horrible things on both sides, you guys are ruining it for the rest of us. Do you really think Blackpink or BTS want you to say these things on their behalf? I don't really understand that logic. Do you think they'll like you better because you're supposedly defending them? A group that promotes love and kindness and you go around saying these things. Come on, we should all be on the same team here, especially with all the triumphs that happened this weekend. I don't know, what do you guys think about these things? Also, you know what, tell me your favorite part of the weekend so we can have some positivity in there too. I just don't want how far we've all come and how hard these artists have worked to just all go to waste.